Welcome to this podcast on Merkel cell carcinoma. Merkel cell carcinoma is one, is one of the highest aggressive cancer with a disease mortality rate around 45% and threefold higher than melanoma. Historically, it has a five-year overall survival for stage 4, less than 20%. Regarding clinical and dermoscopical diagnosis, we could focus on some clinical peculiar aspects. First of all, this tumor usually arises on leg and face. It affects basically elderly patients. It's a fast-growing nodule with a typical cherry red color. And here you can see the face of an elderly woman with a cherry red nodules on her cheek and the leg of a man, 70 years old man, with again a nodule, big nodule uh, with red color. And here another a uh, peculiar aspect with red nodules fast growing on the eyelid of this patient. If we consider the dermoscopical aspects of Merkel cell carcinoma, few papers described this rare tumor, and uh, all authors found out that uh, Merkel cell carcinoma showed vessels that are typically not in focus and arborizing and with a background that is a cherry red. This is a, a patient with a Merkel cell carcinoma, a two centimeters nodules on her cheek. And dermoscopically, what we can see is the presence of a reddish background with serpentine vessels, uh, focused and not in focus, mixed up together, and some uh, shiny white streaks or crystalline structures. Here, another example of the leg of a man. This nodule was uh, really fast growing in its attitude and uh, misdiagnosed at the beginning as a cyst. But when we look dermoscopically, we see the presence of red color and rainbow pattern that has also been described for Merkel cell carcinoma, although we know well that rainbow pattern is not specific at all for Merkel cell carcinoma diagnosis. Here, a nodule that is still on the leg, the patient in this case is younger, and the nodule is completely subcutaneous. And here, as you can see, it's a huge nodule. And dermoscopically, there is nothing that we can uh, see uh, as typically found in Merkel cell because we have only this uh, pinkish reddish background and nothing more. At the, at the uh, higher resolution we can just uh, recognize some pinpoint vessels and linear vessels not in focus but very specific for any kind of tumor. This is an example of a bulky tumor revealing uh, a nodule on a 45 years old man with uh, a fast growing attitude, a cherry, very cherry uh, red color appearance from a clinical point of view. And here they close up, this is a huge bulky tumor. And dermoscopically you observe the presence of reddish uh, pinkish background and vessels that are not clearly visible. Now I'm going to show you this case, this lady uh, was referred to our unit because of the presence of these scaly tumors. She has a lot of uh, actinic keratosis on her hair, some exposed areas on the face as well. If we look dermoscopically to this uh, lesion located on her cheek, we recognize whitish scale, a lot of scales, and some vessels that are in focus and serpentine. So our provisional diagnosis was of a squamous cell carcinoma, and uh, thus we scheduled this patient for, for surgery to get rid of this lesion. So here the close-up, in which you can see these serpentine in focus vessels, and uh, here again the scales. What happens is that this patient just arrived three weeks later for the surgery, 
and the lesion was completely different, there was a, an ulcerated tumor. And when we excised this lesion, we found out that this was a Merkel cell carcinoma associated to a squamous cell carcinoma. And this is something that we should always have in mind because uh, there is a quite strong association between these tumors, probably because they both arise on UV uh, sun damaged skin. And here we have the staining that recognize the two different population of the tumor. Here another example that show again the fast growing attitude of this tumor in which you can see the nodule on the leg of this guy. It's uh, almost one centimeter and a half uh, nodule showing arborizing not in focus vessels on a reddish background and also linear vessels here and here also the background with uh, not very sharp borders and after a few weeks these nodules was you know doubling their size showing also more features in their moscopo with arborizing vessels and crystalline structures and here not in focus vessels as well and here, in another details, you see the caliber of the vessels, uh, uh, like with these branches, also visible at the periphery. Another example from my case is here, a nodule firm at the palpation, cherry red in color, and with, you know, branching structures, the vessels over pinkish and reddish background. Also scalp could be affected because it's still a head area. And again, we see a reddish nodules with arborizing vessels. And here, an unusual location of a Merkel cell carcinoma on the back of an elderly patient with a lot of sun damaged skin, as you can see in the overall photo. And dermoscopically, there is ulceration, a whitish background, reddish background, and nothing, nothing more. And last example, a bulky tumor fast growing in a patient, in an elderly patient with a lot of, you know, uh, with a very big uh, crusted tumors. And here we see the yellow that is due to uh, the antiseptic used to, to, to get clean the lesion and some vessels just visible at the periphery. And here again, some vessels. It's very difficult to make a final diagnosis based on clinical and dermoscopical view, but the attitude of being fast growing can remind us the idea of dealing with a Merkel cell carcinoma. Just to close the non invasive diagnosis, there is also one report on Merkel cell carcinoma on confocal microscopy, in which you might see maybe in the flat lesion of the in the flat area of the tumor the presence of these small cells forming sheets. Of, of, of cells of the Merkel cell. The inferential diagnosis include, of course, many aggressive tumors, a melanotic melanoma as a first, but also B lymphoma, visceral metastasis, atypical fibroxanthoma, just to name few. And to conclude, remember that there are the NCCN guidelines for Merkel cell carcinoma, uh, suggesting to do a wide excision of the tumor and to perform, when possible, when feasible, the sentinel node biopsy in order to get a better management of this patient in a tumor board. In case of positive lymph node, the management of the primary tumor and the nodal basing could be done always in the tumor board and could be done using radiotherapy or dexection. And the AGCC of Merkel cell carcinoma, the TNM, stage 0, 1, 2A, 2B, 3 and 4, that should be always uh, performed for this patient to better stratify them and to offer the best diagnostic and therapeutic approach. Thank you for your kind attention and I hope you enjoyed this podcast.